as an artist, one of my favorite things to do is color this beautiful makeover story. Uh, we went from a lot of length into a nice stronger bob shape. My job as a colorist is to bring some lightness and brightness to this, some softness to it, while not taking away from the strength of the shape that the scissor put in. So we're blending these two looks together. So I have a technique that's a combination of foiling mixed with a little hand painting and really comes down to the art of toning that's gonna bring this cut to life. So what I'm working with around the, side line, uh, the sides of the hair here is a nice little weaved out section. I'm looking to increase the concentration of blonde around the face. So I'm gonna work with Synchro Lift Plus and 20 volume. Uh, the reason why I'm choosing Synchro Lift here, it's gonna give me up to nine levels of lift. I don't really need all nine here. That's why I'm using a 20 volume. And really what I'm gonna do is just allow that product to do its thing. It's gonna give me a nice, clean, even lift. Uh, the 20 volume is gonna make sure that I'm not lifting too quickly. So the technique in the back can catch up with the lifting in the front. It's the perfect choice. Uh, really great, amazing lightener. If you guys haven't used it, check it out. So following again, just a nice soft, um, weaved out around the hairline and really putting these foils close together. So I'm increasing the concentration of blonde around the face. That's something I'm always trying to do when I talk to my customers or my clients or my guests, whatever you wanna call them. I'm always trying to ask them, yes, you wanna be blonde or are you talking about the amount of blonde or the level of blonde or both? I think asking questions like that really does make a big difference uh, in what the guest is actually asking for. So in this case, again, we are looking to get a nice level nine blonde, eight, eight, nine level blonde around the hairline here. Um, eight and a half, nine would be our target goal. And we're really looking again for an increased concentration of blonde, really softening that hairline. So uh, working around weave, soft weaves, soft weaves, we're gonna continue to work back up, up the hairline here. I'm splitting the hair in half, um, the sections in half, because you know, for me, it might take a little bit longer to add more foils, but it's better than getting those bleed marks by trying to stretch a, a large amount of hair into a smaller space. Um, it doesn't always work. So don't be afraid if you guys have those bigger kind of wider sections to split them up into two. So as I finish this up, I'm working all the way back to that uh, pre-section I made. You can see there's a little triangle section that falls just from that midpoint of the head right behind the ear. Forms like a little triangle base to the top where we're gonna do something different in that section. Um, we'll get to that in a minute. So I'm working right up to that hairline. Once I hit that division mark, in between my sections, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side until all this meets in the middle and we have a lighter, brighter uh, Synchro Lift Plus and 20 volume hairline all foiled out and ready to go. All right, so now that we're foiled around the face, I'm gonna save some time in the back. And a lot of times that's what we gotta do as colorists. How can we save some time? Um, and, and why would I be needing to put a ton of foils back there? All those layers that you know, are gonna lay over top of this stronger cut shape in the bottom. So I really just need to take up space and add some softness here. I'm going to work with my Skylight, which is our Kaling Clay uh, hand painting or balayage lightener. It is the perfect choice here. It has a nice Kaling Clay shell, which is gonna act as an incubator. And I'm mixing that with 40 volume. That 40 volume is going to give me the intensity I need since I'm not closing this off into a foil. Um, you know, I'm not getting that incubator from a foil, I'm getting from this clay shell. So increasing the energy is gonna help me get some softness and some extra lift in the back. So what you guys can see is I'm taking these inverted V sections, right? And um, I'm actually grabbing them, pinching them towards the end. Right there, I sprayed a little Neuro Protect, um, which is a styling product, but in this case, it's allowing flyaways that might be happening from my rubber gloves. It's allowing those hairs to kind of stick together and it's not going to alter our uh, processing at all here. So I spray that to keep everything flatter. And now I'm working with those ends, I'm applying my highly saturated ends, really working it into the ends, and then just softly bringing that or blurring that line away by softly moving that brush up. So it's really in the hands here, it's in the wrist, it's how you guys are painting, but it's also what you're feeling with your fingers. Now I wanna feel where I want it to be lighter and brighter, I really gotta push 
that product in there and make sure it's saturated. More product's gonna give me more lift. That's any any Kaylin Clay shell or any shell lightener or any balayage or hand painting lightener you guys are working with, that is the truth. Use your hands to drive it in a little bit and then put that coating on the top to make sure it stays nice and moist for a longer period of time. Um, if lightener dries out, it stops working. So the key with, with, with clay lighteners is to really add a lot of base it, layer it, um, keep it soft where you don't want to get too much lift and more of a blend, but layer it where you guys want that lift. So I'm just working this up. It's purely visual back here. Um, and again, I'm not looking for a high concentration of blonde. I'm not looking for a high level of blonde back here. I'm really looking for a softness and a blend just to add some movement. So when she moves her head, the shape stays strong, but the color kind of gives it a little wave. You know, so you can see that there's a little bit of uh, movement placed in with the lightener here. So we're also working with what she previously has, um, you know, and we're working in that. So where she's already previously lightened, she's gonna lighten a little bit more. So it's gonna give me kind of an organic feel. And a lot of guests, they love that, you know, and, and giving them the best of both worlds sometimes works as well. She has that foil placement, that traditional pop from a, from a weaved out foil in the front. And she gets to experience that balayage love that's, you know, that blended hand painted result into the back. So she really does have the best of both worlds going on. So uh, also what I love about uh, Paul Mitchell Skylight is once that Kaylin clay shell starts to form, it forms rather quickly. It prevents transfer. So I can really just drop my sections on top of each other and not worry about bleed marks or things like that. Um, because of that Kaylin Clay shell. So using, we all have a lot of lightener selections and choices out there. It's choosing the right lightener and knowing when to choose it. That really makes a big difference. So experiment, play, that's what makes us artists when you guys are working with your hands. All right, so now that the back is done, I'm gonna work in those little inverted triangle sections along the side. I'm gonna take a slight diagonal approach. This is about as much of a styler as I can be. I'm gonna tease what I'm doing when I tease it is I'm removing weight from the ends, pushing it up to the regrowth, which is going to give me another lived in effect, uh, slightly different than what I've done with the balayage. So I'm gonna tease these kind of back to back. And again, you're really looking at, at how much lightness you want. You know, the less you tease back down, the brighter you're gonna be on those ends. The more you tease, the softer, more blended you're gonna be. So there's a personal preference that comes into here. Also hair texture uh, is really gonna tell me a lot about what to do and when. What's their hair like? Is it thick? Is it thin? Is there a lot of it? A little bit of it? All those things take into consideration. So uh, we're going to leave that regrowth down. Again, we don't want that color right to the root. We want a more of a lived in effect. So all three of these techniques are going to come together. And again, they're going to blend what we're doing a little bit, um, but also add, you know, in some ways, a little bit of strength to the shape. Um, you know, it's kind of what's on trend in the salon. It's nothing mind blowing here that we're doing. It's really kind of simple, basic stuff that, you know, you guys are gonna have clients and guests that, you know, they're gonna want these looks. And that's what we're trying to do. Give you some, some looks and some techniques that you can build into your repertoire that enable you to earn a living and make some money on, on your clients here. Um, also, you know, these are all can be used in one technique like this, or they can all be broken up into several different ways and used differently. Um, you know, so take it as a starting point. So all that's done now. We created our three different movements. We are now gonna go in with Crema XG and Tome. We are working with six stroke one, one, seven stroke eight, zero and 10 volume. And we are gonna work with 10 stroke eight, one, eight stroke eight, six on the ends, um, also at 10 volume. So we're replacing our six ash ash and our seven pearl natural and 10. This is our deeper tone. We're gonna paint that right over in this bottom area here. We wanna add depth, but we've already just kind of created that lightness and softness with our hand painting. We're gonna to continue to paint that 611780 on all the regrowth through here. Um, and you guys will see us really kind of painting that in. We're adding dimension. Again, we wanted this look to add some strength to the ends. That's why we added a lot of lightener to the ends, but we wanna add some softness and blend at the root. Um, so, you know, it has a little softer feel at the regrowth and your eyes are drawn to those stronger, blonder, lighter ends, giving that shape uh, some strength visually with color, just like strength was put in with the scissor. So same thing, six stroke one, one, seven stroke eight, zero, 10 volume, all the regrowth. Um, and now what I'm doing is I'm taking our 10 stroke eight, one um, and our, our eight stroke six or eight V and 10 vol. And I'm applying that to the ends. If you guys notice, I um, left the hairline out 
Uh, initially, I did all those sides first and then put the hairline in just because I want my hairline to be a little bit brighter. So put it on last, you know, where the longer something processes, a little more depth and processing time you give something, a little more depth you're gonna get from it. So I put that, left that, that hairline out a little bit just so it stays a little bit softer. Not much, but a bit. I'm applying the six stroke one one and the seven stroke eight zero 10 ball at the root. And then I'm taking that 10 stroke eight one, eight stroke six and applying it on the ends, blending that together. I'm gonna process it for 20 minutes. And now Matt's gonna take it away with his Hair AI training. All right, guys, so I wanna share with you this brand new technology and device by Paul Mitchell. This is Hair AI. You can pick it up on the App Store. Uh, so basically what it does, it walks you through a consultation with your client. So once we finish Janelle's hair, I ask her a bunch of questions, I scan her scalp, I scan her ends, and then it's gonna give me a breakdown, a hair breakdown that I can send to her so she knows exactly how to take care of her hair. But not only is it gonna do that, it's also gonna help recommend products in the salon and she can purchase them right there through your online store or right there in the salon you can give them to her and she can walk home with it so it's a super cool tool i know you guys are going to like it check out hair ai by paul mitchell uh, now that the, everything's styled out and it's looking really good uh, you guys can see the beautiful results that we have we had that little pop around the face that roots kept in that softness is in through the back um, you can see it transition from dark to medium to light around the face we have a beautiful happy happy guest here with a great makeover and Crema XG Synchro Lift Plus with the stars in this one, guys. Have fun with it, make it yours, and hopefully it helps you guys earn a living behind the chair.